Hello, welcome to Upload to Download. My name's Ben, and I'm going to just give you a quick news update on what was released uh, just today, CS6 Production Premium. And this is by Adobe, of course. Now, most of you would know about uh, the CS6 Photoshop beta, which has been roaming around for quite a while. Well, now Adobe has announced the rest of the programs which will be getting the CS6 facelift. So all these different programs here, there's a few new ones as well that I haven't heard of before, so they... They might have just been in hibernation until now, and then they've come back out of the cold depths. I know that Adobe Audition was left out of CS5, which is a bit annoying. But, yeah, so jump back in. So one of those is Adobe Story, which is a script writing program. I personally already have a script writing program. I have one called CELTX. I'm not even going to bother trying to say that. It's a crazy name, but... It's a freeware program, and it's really good. It has a built-in cloud. So that's nice. Great. Someone commented on my link. Fantastic. <clears throat> Photoshop, of course, has its new uh, content-aware uh, calculations. You can, if someone's in the way of your photo, they, you know, stood in the background while you're in Paris, you can cut them out and get rid of them. It works a lot more efficiently than in previous versions, which is really good. Obviously, if in this little screenshot here they've got something in the way, it will not rebuild her legs. So that's a bit of a flaw. Anyhow, of course there's been improvements in the performance of the programs. That, as it says here, caching is now better. Uh, Premiere Pro actually now has adjustment layers. Uh, for those that use After Effects, you would have known about just adjustment layers. You had... You have a layer on top that you can apply color correction to, and it adjusts every layer below it. Well, now that is in Premiere Pro. Before it wasn't. Before, in Premiere Pro, and I don't actually mind that you have to do this, but in Premiere Pro you have to have all of your edited clips that you want to color correct in a single sequence, and then you can import it into another sequence and then apply the color correction to that kind of it does it's a bit of a long step i guess it does does kind of break up your workflow but that is good that they now have it the adjustment layer feature built into premiere pro so that really saves us a lot of steps new effects in uh, after effects is the 3d from a vector so you can import a vector from uh, illustrator and you can then make it into a fully 3D object, and I assume they mean you can make 3D text as well, because normally if you wanted to make 3D text in Adobe CS, Adobe After Effects CS5, you'd have to kind of trick the system. You'd have to make a text layer, and then you'd have to make a shape layer or just a blank uh, solid layer, and you'd have to apply a shatter, pl apply the shatter plugin to that, uh, solid layer, and then set it as a custom pattern to your text layer. Uh, it's really crazy. No, it's not really efficient. Uh, it certainly works. It gives you the effect that you kind of want, but it, there's not a lot of control over it. So it's good that you can now make those directly in After Effects. Of course, they've got the warp stabilizer as well in Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. That's been uh, the workflow of that's been um, improved. Uh, the warp stabilizer has been in Adobe After Effects since CS 5.5, which annoys me because I actually wanted Adobe After Effects CS 5 to have a stabilization like that. <laughs> Anyhow, we'll move on. So they've got automatic speech alignment, which is handy for those using multicam uh, film projects, etc. Uh, faster encoding, na 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 na. So there's a lot, a lot of improvements, and of course, speed grade here. This is for better uh, color correction as well. It's a lot faster. It works on hardware acceleration. Now, on to the one that I actually find incredibly exciting, After Effects. After Effects is without a doubt one of my favorite Adobe programs. Uh, probably that and Photoshop. After Effects is probably uh, number one, number two. Photoshop is right up there as well. So let's have a look at what's new in After Effects. The biggest exciting thing for me is the 3D camera tracker. 
Uh, 3D camera tracker can be used in a lot of effects. To put it simply, a 3D camera tracker allows you to track the motion of your video. So you can essentially, it gives you the ability to calculate where the camera was moving in your video so that way you can create a 3D object or even a 2D object, add it into your video and it will look like it's uh, in the video. It will look like it's part of that scene. And the 3D camera trackers are used a lot in big time movies, they're used a lot in many special effects. If you go to videocopilot.net you'll see a lot of effects that use 3D camera trackers but before you actually had to purchase like a $150 uh, camera tracker from, I uh, can't remember their name, but there's a camera tracker that you actually have to purchase. It's a plug-in for After Effects. $150 plus the price of After Effects, you know, it's a bit messy. So having it built in is very handy indeed. Improved integration with Mocha. Now, for those that don't don't know, Mocha is a motion tracking uh, program it's it comes bundled with the production premium i'm pretty sure uh maybe not i've got it but i don't know i thought it came with it mocker is a separate program that what it allows you to do you can import a movie clip into mocker and then track a certain point so you can track someone's face you can track someone's hand you can track a car all sorts of different things you can track it and it allows you to track the motion of it and then use it in your motion graphics in After Effects. So this improved integration with Mocha will definitely make it easier because at the moment they're very separate programs and you have to kind of copy what you get out of Mocha into After Effects. And that can really slow down your workflow a lot. It doesn't really feel very connected at all. But that, then again, Mocha is a third-party program from memory. So, of course, they've got better color grading, color correction, it's all hardware accelerated, performance is better, better caching, better ray trace, 3D render. The um, rendering engine for the previews in Adobe Premiere is a lot better as well now. And other little things like that. So that's going to be exciting when it comes out. Um, when does it come out, though? Uh, let's see. It doesn't say anything. Ah! We'll go back here. Does it say... No, they're leaving it a bit empty, aren't they? Re revealed, it says, but it doesn't say when. So, thanks for watching. This has been Upload to Download. What do you think of the Adobe CS6 production premium suit? It is brilliant, is it not? Comment, let me know below. Thank you for watching. This has been Upload to Download. Ben. Ben.